UFC 301 marked the stellar return of Jose Aldo. Thanks God, because you can't just retire because you lose a fight to Mirab, even though you stuff all his takedowns. Just keep it real, stay in the game. And that's what he did. He retired back in 2022, but he just returned against an unbeaten Jonathan Martinez. Scarface looked very sharp against the guy on a six fight winning streak who was way way younger than him. People had some doubt that he can't keep up with the younger and faster guy but hey he looked as sharp as ever, he had very strong combos, strong body shots. He showed everything and a seemingly improved Aldo. So the whole MMA community has the same question. What's next for Jose Aldo? Before returning to the UFC, he ventured into boxing, so he was always training. He never was out of training, he was always improving his skills. And his performance at UFC 301 proves that he's still able to keep up with the young guys. They might have just fed him to an unbeaten guy, but that was also his chance to prove himself and that's what he did. So Jose Aldo is a hot take right now, okay? For context, this was the last fight on his UFC contract, so he's basically a free agent right now, he can do what he wants. Right after the fight, DC asked him what's next, but he was not ready to commit, he stated that he still has to talk to Dana, he has to talk to Hunter, and they have to figure out what he can do, and what he wants to do especially, because he has been also offered a fight on the undercard of Jake Paul vs Mike Tyson on July 20th uh, in Texas. By the way, that fight will be covered on this channel as well. I got my hot take on this and I'm not, I'm not happy about Mikey boy. So he was offered a fight on the undercard of Tyson vs Paul. He could have picked that or he still has a chance to pick that. Will he be lured by the PFL? The PFL has been known to grab old UFC fighters or UFC fighters uh, of high caliber to push their own brand. Will he venture out into bare knuckle boxing where Conor McGregor just bought a big stake? I have my own take on this and I think Jose Aldo will be returning back to the UFC. The UFC is where he is considered one of the greatest of all time. Of course, boxing, the money in boxing is luring everybody, everybody from the UFC. Big fighters have tried it, they saw Conor McGregor and how much he made, they went and they were successful. Francis Ngannou is against Tyson Fury, but I'm not sure if uh, he will be returning to boxing, I think he will stay in the UFC. Sean O'Malley will fight Mirab, okay? Sean O'Malley, if he wins, will call out Jose Aldo, because Jose Aldo is an easier fight than for example, a Corey Sandhagen in my opinion, but hey, we have just seen Aldo perform on a high level, so that could be a hard fight for him as well. But I think that's, that Aldo still needs one victory uh, in that time to be entitled for a title shot, so he could fight Chito Vera, who's looking for a fight, Yeah, who has been quite humbled by O'Malley. So Vera versus Aldo is possible if Aldo wins, and I think he will win. He's sharper than Chito. Chito has a chin, but Aldo is just cleaner, has better striking. Then he will be set up for a title shot. And the title shot means UFC legacy, means a possible title run, means a possible title and championship. That would be a Glover Texera kind of story, but I believe he will just retire, just straight up retire. He has the Hall of Fame, he has a title, and he has another title, so that would be great. What is your take on this? Do you think that Aldo will go into boxing? Do you think that Aldo will just straight up retire? What I don't believe. Do you think that he will go to the PFL or BKFC? Or do you think he will return into the UFC? What do you think? Write it down in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for future UFC videos. And have a look on this video on the left or the video on the right. Have a great time. See you in the next video. Peace.